What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy DC Too Cool back again for another video. Today we're talking about the E3 press conferences, the big three, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. And we'll start with Microsoft first because they did go first and everything. Um, and a lot of people will be like, well, you come over a video a week late. Well, you know, I'm sorry, I actually have a life, I actually have things to do. You know, uh, I usually work a split shift, you know, from the middle of the afternoon to late into the night. In the morning time, I'm usually sleep, usually playing my games at night or whatever, my free time or doing something else. And uh, so, I don't, although Microsoft's conference was in the morning, I would sleep during that time period. Unless I'll get up, you know, if I have something to do or whatever, you know, it's pretty important, or errands or something. Or, um, but usually, I, I game at night and uh, sleep throughout uh, most of the daytime. Um, plus, you know, when I come home at night, there's so many conferences, there's so much stuff, it's almost overwhelming. With E3 content, gaming interviews and trailers and um, you know reveals, uh, it's just crazy. Um, so between trying to watch the conferences and trying to get my Dragon Ball Universe in, because you know the grind is real in that game, and it's a really good game. And you know DLC Pack Three, the last DLC pack, trying to get my my moves and just last uh, Gohan sp unlock potential, all that fun stuff. You know it, the struggle is real. So yeah. But here we are to talk about Microsoft Conference. So, uh, let's get right into it. So, Fable Legends, a game that is an Xbox One exclusive, used to be exclusive on the Xbox 360. I'm personally not a Fable fan, but for all the guys out there and gals who are like in Fable or into it, that, hey, more power to you. I mean, do your thing. I'm not into Fable personally, like I said, but I can appreciate the game, what it does and everything, and you know what it tries to do. But that's not my type of game, personally. But uh, Forza 6 was announced. Forza 6 uh, coming out, which people are still in the argument about Gran Turismo or Forza. I mean, whatever, who cares? I mean, Forza's cool and all. I played both of them. It's, it's a good series. You know, it's cool. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully won't be none of that nonsense like that. Fuck where they pulled with the last one. Talking about this is real in-game graphics. We got the cloud. Look at these live animated Real time, uh, crowd. You know that crowd was a joke. It's in there all that false advertising on, on graphics in that game. Yeah, they quit it. So, aside from bull shots and BS, uh, fuckery and you know graphics and everything, the game looks cool. You know um, how it handles and stuff. I don't know. Um, I have to put my hands on it and actually find out. But I mean, the last words was pretty good. You know. Um, so, I mean, it's what it is. Gears of War 4 was showing. I'm a huge Gears fan. Huge Gears fan. My favorite series on the Xbox platform. I think this is the best series they have, personally, in my opinion. And Gears of War 4 looks like it's taking it back to the more tense, uh, scary, horror type of feel of Gears of War 1, which is pretty freaking sweet. And correlation, they've done justice with the game. The graphics look good. Gameplay looks tight. I mean, you wouldn't even be... You, if, just by looking at it, the live demo they show. You can tell it wasn't even Epic Studio still making the game. It looked like they took Gears of War and definitely done right by it. So I'm very happy to see that. Um, and along with that, Gears of War Ultimate Collection was also announced. And the problem with that is, it's also announced for PC. Which I think is silly. I mean, it's like, how you want to go from Gears of War being, like Gears of War 1 being on PC... Xbox 360, and I believe two PC and Xbox 360, and then three was Xbox 360 only, and Judge was Xbox 360 only. It's like they figured out what a true exclusive was, not a console exclusive. And then you turn right back around, Gears of War 4 being on Xbox One exclusively, and then drop an Ultimate Edition, put it out on PC. It doesn't make sense. It, I mean, you can make the argument that, oh yeah, we, we want to make money, they want to make more money. I get it. But it's like, dude, they told me I put that, like, Gears of War 4, I'm sorry, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. On PC running at 4K resolution and I think it's some crazy frame rate or something like 120 or whatever. But the point is, if I could do that, why, why do I need to get it? I repeat, why do I need to get it on, you know, the Xbox One? If I can do all that crazy frame rate, all them crazy resolutions on the PC, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, an exclusive is an exclusive for a reason. It gets people to buy your console, especially Microsoft the position they're in where they're struggling with their system. I mean, I figure. I mean, the thing about it is, Microsoft got money. Let's be real about this. I could see more of Sony doing this with their current financial situation and everything outside of gaming. Microsoft has money. 
you know, they didn't have to do this. I don't know why they did it. They should have kept it on the Xbox One exclusively. I think it would make more sense as far as the longevity of your console. Um, I believe that comes with Gears of War 1 through Judgment. I could be wrong with it. It's called Ultimate Edition. You know, Ultimate Collection, Ultimate Edition. Uh, I know 1's on there. It might just be 1 through 3. Uh, I'm not sure if Judgment's on there or not. I'm not entirely sure. But I I know that's pretty... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's coming out this year. It's coming out this year. Um, I think Forza is coming out this year as well. Um, but we'll get to the rest of the games come out this year in a second. Go by the rest of this list of gear of games that they showed that were highlights um, worth noting. So Halo Five Guardians dropping this year, uh, the new Halo game, their flagship title, huge game coming out. Uh, I played Halo multiplayer. I beat one, two, and three. Played Wars, eh? Not, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Or up. Uh, uh, didn't play ODST, never played 4 or whatever, I just, you no, know, didn't really care that much. I stopped playing Halo and stopped caring about it. I mean, you know, it just was like, okay, I can play something else. I can, you know, like, it's cool and all. I can appreciate what, you know, what Halo does, especially multiplayer and everything. Campaigns were okay, but this is like, I think there's a very overrated shooter. I honestly think Destiny's a better shooter overall. I'm just, I'm sorry, that's debatable to some people, but not, that's just my opinion on it. Um... Uh, that, don't get me wrong though, Destiny has a lot of flaws. Story definitely hails better, you know, and then, uh, you know, core mechanics and stuff, things you can do, like simple things like actually adjust the musical score, and so on and so forth. I'm not saying Destiny's a more complete game, I'm just talking about the controls, you know, graphics, you know, um, and Halo 5, you no, know, Halo still looks good, but I think Destiny looks better graphically. Um, I don't know, that's just my opinion. I digress. So, Guardians, Halo 5's Guardians coming out this year, this fall. Uh, Rare Replay. Rare Replay is huge. Rare Replay, 30 of Rare's hottest cl classic titles of all time on one disc. Banjo-Kazooie, Battletoads, Conqueror's Bash for a Day, so on and so forth. Classics, legends on one disc. 10,000 achievements. This is huge, dude. This makes you want to get Xbox One right now. Like, seriously, this is huge. Those are legendary classical games, man. Like, that's a huge, huge drop right there. I don't care what nobody say. Can't nobody, Chris Brown can't beat that deal. That was a hell of a, a thing to drop. Hell of a game series or a collection to announce. Beautiful. Record. Record looks interesting. Record, uh, looks like you, uh, I'm not sure what kind of game it's going to be. It looks like from the trailer they show. You know, little robot dog got destroyed. She took the orbit spear, I guess, its energy source, and put it to another robot, and it uh, got bigger and better. So I guess the theme of this game might be to, you know, build things or to, you know, bend things to your will with the, the energy spear. I have no idea. Uh, so it's interesting. It looks interesting, though. I'm, I, am, I am, you know, intrigued by it. So we'll see uh, what happens with that. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Last Tomb Raider reboot was really good. Uh, a time exclusive for Xbox One and also coming to Xbox 360. Uh, again, this fall, the demo they showed looked amazing. The ice looked amazing. Graphics in general look amazing. Gameplay looked smooth. Um, you know, so I'm looking forward to you know playing that one. You know, last one's great. So, no said. It's Tomb Raider. Sea of Thieves. A game made by Rare. And this is like looks like it's gonna be a pirate type game. Looks like it has a art, art, cartoony, toon style of graphics. But uh, I mean, like it's all about pirates. You know, if the title alone didn't give it away, it's like it's about pirates. So you know, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I I, I can't really tell by you know a trailer, obviously a CGI trailer. But I mean, if they do pirates right and everything and down to details, that would be pretty cool. Cause we only thing we really have pirates. Private wise, it was pretty good, but not everything it, it could include it was like a Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. But other than that, we haven't really seen no, or unless you cut the Pirate of the Caribbean games or whatever. Come on, let's be real, that's trash. So, you know, let's just be interesting because Rare is a great developer, uh, legendary team of developers. So, we'll see uh, how this comes out. And that's pretty much everything they announced that worth talking about at their conference. But they have some big hitters, and like I said, Halo 5 gets Wall Street, uh Edition, you know, for the 6, Fable Legends, Tomb Raider, like all come out like this year, this fall. They got like five big hot games come out. 
this year. And meanwhile, Sony really got none. That's crazy. So, I mean, it's looking like a pretty good year for Microsoft. They're probably definitely going to take it this holiday season. If they beat uh, Sony and Nintendo out this holiday season, I'm sorry, if Sony and Nintendo beat Microsoft out this holiday season, I will be shocked. I will be quite surprised. Quite surprised. So, Nintendo, you know, what they got coming out? I'm not sure what they got coming out with anything, but but Sony, definitely. They, if Sony some kind of way, man, just keep a lead on them and still beat them, beat them out, I'll be shocked. <laughs> I'll be shocked. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it, y'all. Y'all go ahead and tell me what y'all think. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get up out of here. See y'all on the next one. Peace out.